Hello and welcome to some more Star Citizen. The Star Citizen devs have talked about fleets and where they see capital ship roles and what they see them being for each individual capital ship and where they see the Perseus sitting in that sort of pantheon uh, of fleet battles and capital ships. And we've also had our first look at personal tractor beams, which are cool and are coming out in 3.12. Firstly, in my last video though, where I was talking ship in apparently in more ways than one, there was a mistake. I misspoke when talking about the Hercules' capacity. To clarify, the Hercules C2 and M2 can carry up to two Nova tanks, and the A2 can carry up to one. I previously said that the M2 could carry up to one, which is wrong. It's two. I am a dumb dumb. Let's talk about capital ships though. Fleets in Star Citizen are going to be built around having a capital ship, or capital ships, at their core. The Javelin is a destroyer. It can duke it out with other massive ships. It is a proper large military doom vessel. The Idris is a carrier which will deliver fighters or other smaller ships safely around the verse, giving them a larger operating range that would be impossible without the carrier. Also, the Idris does have a big railgun on its nose, so it's still useful in combat. But getting those fighters into combat, that's one of its main roles. The Polaris is a long-range torpedo boat in this sort of like capital ship fight um, sense anyway. The Hammerhead is an anti-fighter screen, but the Perseus is a military ship that is about destroying other big ships. It sits somewhere between the roles of the Polaris and the Hammerhead, mid to long range, consistent sustained fire, primarily at larger targets. The bridge for the Perseus, which is located near the center of the ship at the top, causes the main front turret, the large front turret, to have a blind spot, though the point defense turret now on the top of the back of the ship covers that spot, and the bottom large turret doesn't have the same issue as it doesn't have a bridge that it has to worry about. The original briefing was to build a ship that a four-man crew could run, so that's actually softly expanded out now to six, with a pilot, a captain, two turret gunners, and two more flexible roles which could have players running around repairing the ship or filling spaces and doing whatever they need to do at a given time. Now, I actually personally think that the ship could probably be effectively run with three um, crew, um, but although um, any additional crew will help the efficiency of that ship, especially if it takes any damage. The lower deck is cargo and lower turret access, the mid deck is the main deck with almost everything else, and the top deck is the bridge, engineering and escape pods. The ship does have a central lift system, so it should actually be pretty easy to navigate. That Perseus is on concept sale for the next few weeks from $600, so it is not cheap, but it is uh, approaching the size of a capital ship, though not a capital ship, it is 100 meters long. Uh, it is it is supposed to brawl in fleet battles, it is supposed to brawl with those capital ships though, so sort of bear that in mind. We know that Clown Imperium have been working on capital ship AI and various other elements of getting capital ships in the game in a much more reasonable, fun, and sort of combat ready state. The Idris is obviously in 3.12 as a uh, at least a defense um, NPC ship that will come along and defend um, stations and that sort of stuff. Um, so we're looking forward to that. But there might be some more surprises in the not too distant future as well. But anyway, let's take a look at personal tractor beams. The tractor beam module is being added to multi-tools for Alpha 3.12. It's basically a little sandbox tool with massive utility. You can use these tractor beams to move small items like weapons, gear, debris, but also more importantly, cargo crates. You can use it in space, but also in gravity on the ground, though the multi-tool will struggle with the heavier items. It can carry around 250 kilograms, they said, allowing you to lift most of the cargo crates currently in game. The more the beam struggles with larger or heavier objects, the weaker and sort of like more laggy and bendy the beam will become. They also showed someone using a crate to surf off into the distance. It's a work in progress. There's going to be lots of little weird things that you can do, especially in Star Citizen while it's an alpha. Uh, the module has a secondary function too. It acts as a grappling hook, pulling you towards wherever it hits, as long as whatever you're pointing at is heavy and stable enough to be able to have you pulled towards it. Um, so it looks like an amazing traversal tool, and it's going to be really useful in EVA. And that's it for a bit of a quicker video today. Alpha 3.12 is an EVA Carti, and we should be seeing Wave 1 in the next week or so, in my opinion. Players that are waiting for their 
Intergalactic Aerospace Expo Best in Show skins and the Carrot Helmet should have it added to their accounts within the next couple of days as well. But what do you think of the tractor beams? Are they an awesome addition to the game at this stage? Or do you think that we need other systems online um, before we should have them really because they're not useful enough yet? What do you think of Cloud Imperium's thoughts on capital ships and fleets? And what do you think of the Perseus? Have you picked one up? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Also, we've got a giveaway for a Mercury Star Runner throughout December. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Shipmas. Um, please comment on any of my videos made during December to be in for a chance of winning that. I shill for NordVPN. Check out the links below for NordVPN if you're looking for a VPN. They are a VPN and they're the Nord. Ch check them out for discount. Links below. Uh, also, there's Shadow, which provide a alternative to owning your own gaming PC. It's a um, cloud-based subscription service. Bam. You can just... And then stream this gaming PC to your phone or you, to your current computer or to your laptop or whatever. And you've got access to play games on a fully customizable Windows 10 environment. Bam! It, it's cool. Please consider liking, subscribing and clicking that join button down below. Thanks for watching. Have a great holiday season. Take care. See you later. Peace.